Hi, this is Sean McKellen with Competitor.com, and this week's Shoe Talk, we're actually here in Boulder, Colorado, and we're here at the Boulder Center for Sport Medicine, and uh, I'm here with uh, a new running brand called Somnio, and this is Sean Sullivan. Sean, thanks for having us out here. Thanks. It's great to be here. So, uh, Sean, give us a little idea of what the, the idea behind Somnio is and where you guys came from. Well, I'll tell you, I've been a lifelong runner, and I was a product manager um, through the years at a number of big companies. And and, uh, as I was running and running more and I got older, I started to have some really um, debilitating injury problems. And so I was back here at the center working with uh, Dr. Pruitt and with Tim Hilden on some other projects and started talking about the problems I was having. And, you know, I was one of those people that had bought, you know, probably 12 pairs of shoes. I'd been to see the physical therapist. I had the foam roller, the stretching. I did it all to try and get rid of this issue I had. And I came back here, and these guys um, did a full gait analysis on me. So they looked at me on the treadmill and and did an assessment, which is kind of what we looked at today. And in like 20 minutes, they made a couple modifications to my shoes, and they said, listen, go out tomorrow morning, and you'll be able to run pain-free. And sure enough, the next morning I went out and ran up the canyon, and it was just amazing to me that I could have spent so much time Time and effort and money trying to resolve these injury problems and yet when I came here it was just like such a quick fix and I told Andy at the time I said you know this is something that we have to do for the running community we've got to get the word out and share this knowledge base you guys have and and create this shoe which is that was really the start of the company I mean we literally sketched a shoe out that night on a napkin uh, over dinner and, and what you see today as a result of, of three years of R&D putting that together Cool. So um, just run us through kind of the idea behind the shoes and uh, what, you know, separates Somnio from other running brands. Well, the, I mean, the real foundation is that everything is based in biomechanics. So every decision that we made about the shoes was based on how to adapt the shoe to the particular runner's needs as opposed to the runner needing to adapt to the shoe. So it's really a completely different way of thinking about shoe design, running shoe design. So the concept we came up with was a, a modular shoe. So you have different areas of the shoe that are interchangeable and you can adjust those those components to accommodate whatever the particular biomechanical needs are of the runner, so pronation, particular injury history issues, Achilles tendonitis, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Everything is adjustable on the shoe. So the areas of the shoe that are adjustable are um, the heel and forefoot. You see these cavities. Those are where we put in cushioning inserts. So these pieces um, slide in there, and you can adjust the hardness or the softness of the shoe. So think small people, softer shoes, bigger people, harder shoes, right? right. right? A more firm shoe. The other area of adjustability is inside the shoe, and we have um, interchangeable footbeds. Mm -hmm. So the footbeds come in different arch heights, and we have three different arch heights here, single plus, double plus, and triple plus. So more Mm -hmm. pluses means more arch support. And then underneath the, uh, the footbeds inside the shoe are the various wedges, which are these guys. Now, the various wedges help with alignment. And so we have, again, three different levels of various uh, wedge angulation. So we've got blue, orange, and red for Mm -hmm. two, three, and four millimeters. And really what we're doing is between combining a various wedge with a footbed, you're really creating uh, almost like an orthotic type support for the runner. Mm -hmm. So again, we're able to offer that type of correction, which, by the way, is a more effective way to correct for most biomechanical issues than something like a medial post or the, sh- or the things okay. that you see in shoes today. Right, right. So it's sort of like having a, uh, an orthotic made for the shoe for you. Exactly. With the pieces that you exactly. provide for the, with, the, with the shoe when it comes with yeah, the shoe. Yeah, and you can yeah. do it in the running store. The idea is you right. go into the running store, into one of our stores. We train all of our stores here at the Boulder Center. Mm-hmm. They come through a class and they get, um, you know, they get a diploma. Right. Uh, <laughs> they get a you know, certificate in fitting. And so those people then, when you go into the store, are able to look at your biomechanics and assess what's going on and put the right prescription together for you and the shoe. Okay, cool. So um, why don't you show us the, the laser alignment system a little bit here, and that's how you actually fit the person for the different parts of the shoe. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, there's about 650 different combinations for a given okay. model of shoe, so it's there's a lot of flexibility there, and obviously the question is, is how do you put all the right pieces together right. for that person? That's really where the laser alignment tool came into play, and this, again, was developed here at the center. I'm working with the running biomechanics people here, but this is the this is the assessment tool that's in the store. So you stand on this tool, and they, they'll look at arch height. Um, they'll measure the size of your foot. We've got a chart for the cushioning inserts. And then for various angulation, we have uh, something real special, and it's this little laser alignment tool. So you can see that line on my arm, but that's... You, you, the person stands on here, and they do a one-third knee bend test, which mm-hmm. is one of the assessment tests that they use here at the center. And we watch for motion in the knee and the lower leg. And again, we're going for that, that really good alignment. Right. And so by using this tool, again, they can run you through these four steps on here and quickly assess 
what are what are the right prescription of parts to assemble a shoe for for your particular biomechanical needs. Right, right. And then you also have some other things that you can change within the shoe if it's a you know, they're going to be on the trails or the road. Exactly. You have other things you put into consideration when, when you build the shoe for exactly. the different people. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at, you know, what's the person doing? What, what, what is what is their running goals? Are they training for a marathon? Is it big distance stuff? Are they doing a lot of speed work? Mm -hmm. Do they have a particular injury history? We like to look at that, too, because there are certain things that we would do for a shoe for somebody that had IT band issues or Achilles issues or plantar fasciitis issues. There's very specific things that we'd like to do. So if uh, people want to learn a little more about Somnio and where they can find it around the country, where should they go, go to find more information? The best place is to go to our website. Okay. which is somniorunning.com. Okay, great. Great. Well, thanks very much. I, uh, I appreciate your time thanks and having us out here in Boulder. This is Sean McKeown with competitor.com. Make sure you come back again for another edition of Shoe Talk.